payload bay for the attachment onto our stowage pallet. The CMG weighs roughly 1,200 pounds, so it's a rather massive object. Uh, they spend quite a bit of time in the NBL working on aligning the hardware. We also have a facility where we can practice the mass handling aspects of large, handling large masses. Once the CMG is attached, we will reconfigure the foot restraint as well as the arm to get it into position to pick up the UTEF payload. We will work together to release that payload and the arm will then fly, stand one last time over to Columbus's external payload facility. This time the, the payload will be attached to the pallet immediately below the solar, the solar experiment. That will complete our work on the arm, so Stan will, will egress off of, off of that, the arm and remove the foot restraint. And then periodically throughout the EVA, as, as, as Rex has time, he will be installing uh, some EVA handrails and some worksite fittings throughout the Columbus module. They were removed for clearance concerns while Columbus was being launched, uh, and then we'll e reinstall those for, for use on, on future EVAs. And it's during this time that we also might send Rex out to the uh, Sarge to take a look at the um, underneath the thermal covers there. This video shows you our operations in the pool for practice installation of the handrails and the WIF. Uh, with the completion of EVA 3, we will have a set, set a new record for the number of spacewalks performed in a year. It will be the 24th for 2007 and the prior record was, was 23 in 2002. And it's been a very busy year, full of challenges, but we are excited about finishing on a very great note.